Hello everyone, welcome to part 148 of Advanced Ecom series in Laravel 8. So we are going to resolve few of the issues in this video, a few of the bugs that we uh, find so far uh, in our series. So we don't want that any bug is left in our series, so we will resolve side by side. Okay, so uh, along with the series, we are going to resolve all the bugs to make it error free. So uh, two of the issues have been uh, found by my friends, by my students. Okay, so uh, I am going to name them. Uh, one is the Sufi Maimon. Okay, uh, thanks Sufi Maimon who helped uh, me to uh, who identify one of the issue in Ecom series. And uh, one uh, name person of the name is Humayu Kabir. Okay, so thanks Humayu Kabir as well. Okay, uh, so thanks to both of you for identifying the issue and uh, I have resolved the issue for you, for every one of you and if anyone will get any issue in this series, then uh, sh surely tell me, uh, I will try by my best to resolve the issue, we will resolve the issue, okay, and if you can able to resolve, then it's really good, okay, uh, then you can also share with everyone, share with me. Uh, uh, you can share in video comments as well okay so uh, the issue is first of all i'm going to tell you uh, about the issue that bug uh, that we uh, are facing that uh, that is in our e-commerce series okay so first of all i want to tell you that any website development anything you are making small project big project there are issues that surely come no website no project is uh, uh, error free okay but we need to make them error free issue will surely come but we need to resolve them one by one okay we need to resolve them we need to make effort to resolve all the issues and make it error free so that the client will never complain us okay so uh, i'm going to log in uh, with my id oh not required login also not required uh, first thing is like uh, if we will add uh, one of the product in our car you can see here now you can see the uh, uh, here you can see the unit price is 700 700 and its discount category and product discount is 70 rupees and its subtotal is 630 rupees you can see the 70 rupees is our discount and you can see 700 minus 70 it's 630 now whenever you will update the quantity like if you will update the quantity to 2 we are just updating the subtotal but we are not updating the category product and discount and we are also not updating the unit price of course we can keep the unit price uh, 700 uh, but we can uh, update if we want like we can update the unit price as well like 700 into 2 and that will be 1400 and 1400 and then again we can multiply the category product discount uh, like 70 into number of quantity and that is 70 into 2 that is 140 so 1400 minus 140 and that is 1260 okay so uh, it seems better uh, than the one that we have done uh, so so here uh, one of my friend uh, Sufi Maimon suggested uh, that we have to do in uh, in this way uh, so we can I like he, uh, his uh, uh, suggestion and going to update it and it's your choice if you want to update it okay uh, so I'm going to open the card items where we have specified all the items all the shopping card items and here first of all I am going to uh, see we can see the quantity is there we are going to multiply the quantity with every okay we can do it like this and uh, now we can check we can refresh here and now uh, see here you can see yourself like now the unit price is 1400 but here we are mentioning unit price unit price means the uh price of one product but here we are doing the into uh, so we can uh, remove here unit we can just uh, uh, 
मेक इट लाइक प्रोडक्ट प्राइस और प्राइस ओनली वी कैन गिव द प्राइस ओनली ओके लाइक दिस सो वी हैव गिवन द प्राइस ओनली रुपीज फोर्टीन हंड्रेड एंड द कैटेगरी प्रोडक्ट डिस्काउंट इज वन फोर्टी एंड सी द प्राइस ऑफ टू प्रोडक्ट्स दैट इज द फोर्टीन हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टीन हंड्रेड माइनस वन फोर्टी एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू वन टू सिक्स जीरो ओके सो नाउ इट लुक्स बेटर दैन द अर्लियर नाउ द यूजर कैन ईजली चेक लाइक फोर हंड्रेड एंड यू कैन डू वन मोर थिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन मेक इट लाइक रुपीज एंड देन यू कैन डू इट माइनस हियर यू कैन give minus in front like okay like this so that uh, you will easily like 1400 minus 140 and that will be equal to 1260 it's your choice if you want to give minus otherwise that is not required that is understood okay so uh, so this is the change that we have done for our card page and if we will move further and you can see that we need to log in we can log in here amit at the top of your mail dot com one two three four five six and then uh, we can see here uh, next page we can go to next page and here once again uh, we are doing in the same way but here also we can update in checkout bread file as well we can open the checkout bread file and here also we can do in the same way to make the thing similar okay so we can do like this and we can simply price like this okay so see here now it seems to be fine and price 1400 calorie per discount 140 and subtotal is 1260 you can see 1400 minus 140 that is equal to 1260 okay there is no coupon discount otherwise it is uh minus we can do and there is no shipping charge so far okay so that is the change that we have done uh, now we will come to the another point and uh, uh we will uh, that point is uh, yeah okay so see here i am going to tell you about another point uh, i will come to here and suppose if we will uh, delete this product okay so here you can see we have littered the product but even then next button is coming no shoot sure, next button is coming but here uh, we must not uh, come to the checkout page because there is no product and here you can see that we reached to the checkout page without having any product so this is the major issue see and this issue has been found by my friend humayu kabir okay who who able to found this issue and i have given the solution to him as well uh, but uh, this is the major issue for any of the e-commerce website otherwise uh, one can place the empty order order without any product okay so here we need to add the check in shopping cart that every time if the user clicks on next button without entering the products here uh, we will show the error message uh, to uh, that shopping cart is empty please add products to check out okay so this is the resolution this is the uh, way that we can resolve the e this issue so we need to do one thing we need to open the checkout function in products controller so let's open the products controller front end and we will open the checkout function okay so here after going down 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 at last here we are going to add the condition at last here you can see the user card item is also there okay so after user card items we can add here if count simple enough here we are going to count the user card items if user card items is equal to equal to 0 it means there is no product added into cart then we are going to give the message like shopping cart is empty please add products to 
check out okay so this is the way and we will give the session here session error message we will start uh, with our message we will give like this and return redirect card okay so uh, we will open the card bread file once and they will see the error message that we have given here okay here is the success and error message and one more thing uh, make sure to forget uh, once we will show the success message or error message here we need to forget after giving uh, the message here here we need to forget as well we can simply do like php session forget forget this uh, success message always give it like this and so that because we require only the first time not the next time next time the message will not come like this one and also in detail bread file uh, give it like this in the same way here you can see replace this with this one okay so now we are going to check and i'm going to refresh here we'll go to next and here you can see the shopping card is empty please add products to check out we can see the error message is coming now and it is asking the user to add the products in card otherwise it will not allow you to move out okay you can see here even if you will try to open the checkout page directly it will not take you to the checkout page okay so here now you need to add the products only then it will take you to the checkout page like this one we have added and one more we are going to add okay now you can see and we can add the quantity as well you can see it is also working fine and here you can see 1200 minus 180 it is 1020 700 minus 70 it is 630 okay so the plus of both it is equal to 1650 and here if you will try to do next then it will surely take you to the next and here you can see the update as well okay so both the issues both the bugs have been resolved now and uh, now we can able to move forward uh, with the order invoices and we have seen that in the last video uh, we have done that view order invoice and now in the next video we will uh, generate the pdf invoice of our order okay we will generate the pdf invoice of this invoice uh, pdf invoice of our cod okay so that is the uh, last thing for our cod and then cod is complete then we will do the shipping module and after that uh, paypal and other payment methods okay so stay tuned for that so that's all for now. Have a nice time. Goodbye.